2013 and I was in third grade, eight years old. And it really actually started with my mom. See, she came across a video on Facebook that Mr. Mark Zuckerberg had posted. And the title of the video was What Most Schools Don't Teach. And it was talking about computer science and how every kid should learn how to code. They had individuals like um, Will I Am, Mr. Bill Gates, Twitter's Jack Dorsey, and others as well. And she tried to get me to watch the video, but you know, of course, I wasn't really buying into it. I was just too busy trying to get my homework done so I could go to sleep. But what really caught my attention was when Chris Bosh, actually former NBA player of the Miami Heat, came on and started talking about how much he loved to code. I know it can be intimidating. A lot of things are intimidating, but uh, you know, what isn't? And that really caught my attention because number one, it was somebody who played my favorite sport, somebody who looked like me, and he was telling me that computer science was cool. So I ended up watching that video, that same exact video over and over again about, I wanna say five times, but if you ask my mom, she'll say double that. That same year, 2013, actually code.org hosted its first annual Hour of Code event. And what it does is it demystifies code to let kids know that computer science is fun and it's easy. And so we decided to actually bring it to my school. That's what gave us the idea, why don't we bring the same opportunities to more kids who won't have the opportunity to learn computer science and bring awareness overall. And that's how we started Dream Hustle Code. When we hosted that first coding camp, when we saw that kids came across challenges or difficulties and they wanted to give up whenever anything became difficult, I understood why don't I interview highly successful people, take their lessons and stories and write it in a book through the mind of a kid. And so that's how I started with Dream Hustle Code, the book. And so far I've interviewed 48 highly successful people like Miss Oprah Winfrey, Steve Harvey, the CEO of Chick-fil-A, even Chris Bosch. The main theme that they always tell you is you have to work hard no matter what. Nothing comes easy in the world, no matter who you are, no matter where you come from. If you want to be successful, you're going to have to go through some sort of struggle. And so as far as taking kids to Silicon Valley, that just sprung off because I went to Silicon Valley myself. I saw it, I, it changed my thinking when I came back to Chicago. And I thought, why don't I bring this same opportunity to other kids as well? We took 25 kids from Chicago and Wisconsin. So when we were in the Valley, we visited Twitter, Netflix, and also Google. And we went to Los Angeles, we went to Vector 90, Universal Studios, and also Warner Brothers. Overall, it was an amazing trip because they got a chance to see individuals who looked like them who were in Silicon Valley. They met designers, engineers, computer scientists who told them what it was like to be in Silicon Valley and what it was like to be black and brown in tech. And I believe that if we can do this on a higher scale, we'll be able to impact more individuals or more kids to have a bigger vision for themselves in tech.